guys, Coach Pillowfist here. Today we're talking about how to faint. Special thanks to the member Vinton Wynn for requesting this topic. So in practical terms, fainting is basically just faking a punch. So here are a few reasons why you would want to faint. Number one is obviously trying to get a reaction from your opponent. We're trying to figure out what he's trying to do. Is he trying to counter punch me? Is he trying to parry my jab? Is he trying to work his way on the inside? Or is he just trying to box on the outside? We're asking him questions with our faints and trying to get answers back with the reaction. Reason number two is to make them uneasy, make them uncomfortable, put them on the defensive. And the third reason is to set up my offense. We're trying to get them out of position so we can attack. All right, let's put ourselves in the opponent's position for a second. If I'm looking to counter punch somebody, I'm looking for the subtlest of movements. I'm watching them like a hawk, and I'm looking for the littlest of indication that they're going to throw a punch at me. So my goal with feints is to desensitize them to these movements that are usually associated with throwing punches. Because if they're hyper-focused on my movements, and I'm fainting them, sometimes I'm throwing punches, fainting them, all right, that's gonna confuse them. All right, so I'm fainting, I'm fainting, all right? Eventually, that opponent is going to be less sensitive to my movements of throwing punches, and then when I actually do throw a punch, they're gonna be less mentally prepared for it. Important tip number one with feints. Feints are most effective when you're using it while you're calm and relaxed. Then you wanna faint, all right? So tell me, what are you more likely to react to? Me being like this, then all of a sudden being like, or would you be more likely to react if I was bouncing around, moving a lot, like that? The first one, right? Because people are more likely to react to the sudden, quick change of tempo. Think of it like a horror movie, right? If they're trying to add a jump scare, they're not gonna add it in the middle of an action scene with all the action and the suspense. They're gonna make it very calm and silent. Then they're gonna add the jump scare. And it's the same thing for boxing, you know? You wanna be relaxed, you wanna be calm, then you add the jump scare. Ah! Tip number two, feints can be more effective when you condition them to a punch first that you're planning on fainting. You gotta make them feel it, you gotta make it hurt, make them feel your power, make them scared. All right, let's take the overhand right, for example. I wanna make them feel that overhand right. All right, all right, then when I'm ready to faint it, all right, I faint the overhand right. They come back with a lead uppercut, taking a book out of Canelo's page. Another good one, common one, jab to the body, right? Go jab to the body, make it hurt, faint it, go up to the head with the hook. So with faints, it doesn't always have to be a hard, dramatic faint, right? It could be something as subtle as moving your hands out like that, all right? Or moving them up. Now here are a few ways to faint. The first one, just faint the jab. Step, as if you're actually throwing a jab, right? And what I like about this one, you can do a double, double faint, triple faint, just like that. Next, you can faint that rear hand, all right? Almost like you're throwing a straight. Or you can do like a rear hook, all right? I like to move my rear hand out like that, position myself almost for like a lead uppercut, lead hook, or jab. Or bah, body shot. And then the next one, one of my favorite ones, just change elevations. All right. This one makes them think that you're going to go down to the body, then you can go up to the head. Right? With that one, you're basically just bending at the knees, all right? Keeping your back straight. If you want to probe, all right, lower the hand down so it focuses that attention down low. Then you go up to the head, which comes my next one, probing feints. All right, got my hand probing out there. All right, faint from down here, faint from over here, from over here. And the last one, if you use the Philly show, faint with your shoulder. All right, everybody, thank you guys for tuning into that video. Hope that helps you guys with your fainting game. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.